In this video, we're looking at the new future of uh, Cloud Connexo App Hub, which is an application sharing future between business partners, vendors, and other entities. So you can share your applications that are being hosted within your wide area private cloud or WPC with other uh, business partners or event departments. These business partners or vendors can be an existing Cloud Connexo clients, or they get an invitation to join Cloud Connect. So you can look at this as a secure extra net between your business partners or vendors. I need to add a disclaimer here that you will not get any unsolicited application invitations from OpenVPN, nor that we facilitate or participate in any monetary transaction or service agreement between businesses. This B2B application exchange are only meant to happen between businesses that they're already working together or between multiple cloud accounts under the same business. In this video, we will cover um, how to share an application. Then we look at the invitation and how to accept it. Then we'll look at the user experience when they access a shared application. And lastly, we'll look at how to configure access policy so only certain group of users can access this shared application. In order to access the app hub or to start an app sharing or application sharing, you need to access the admin user interface, as you can see it on the screen here. Then you click on app hub in the menu bar on the left side. The very first time when you access it, there is a term of services that you need to accept. Check that box and then click on continue to app hub. Then you'll be presented with this page, which is app client. So if you have any um, application waiting for your approval, you're gonna see it here. If you have any approved apps that is being shared with you, you're gonna see it in this section. Well, we're gonna go to app provider because we wanna share our app with somebody else. The very first time when you try to share um, an app, you need to create a profile. The reason you need to fill the profile is that the other party accepting the shared service knows the identity of the provider and know who you are. Um, also, they have the contact information to reach you in case if there is any problem. So I put the name of the company here, sales email, and uh, the support email. Then you need to check those two uh, checkboxes. Basically, you are um, saying that you accept and acknowledge that the verified owner email will be shared again for the identity verification reason with the uh, company or the uh, person that you're going to share the application with. So when you're happy with everything, then you're going to click on Save Profile. Um, oh, I think they like the name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a number at the end of it uh, to just uh, for the purpose of this video, and then I'm going to save the profile. So here we go. The profile is saved. Now we can go ahead and share the application. I'm going to switch profile. I'm going to go to another WPC that I have some applications already defined. Uh, so this is another WPC that we have here. And if I uh, expand networks, and go to applications, you can see I've already have some uh, applications set up. So CRM is the application that we're using in this company, and we need to share it with an auditing company to uh, be, get audited. This is for our annual audits, basically. So this is the application that we're going to go ahead and share. So in order to share this, click on App Hub again, and this time we're going to go to App Provider tab. Um, we already created the profile here, so we should be good. Expand CRM. This is the application that we want to share, and you're going to see an option to share the app. I'm going to click on that uh, button to start the sharing. Now, the first uh, field that you're going to see is the app client name. This is the name of the company that you're sharing with. Uh, for example, here it's going to be auditors. Now, the next section is going to be the cloud ID or app uh, client email address. I uh, know the cloud ID, so I'm using the cloud ID here, but if I, you don't know, just type the email address. Internal notes, if you want to add anything, you can do that. Shared as this is visible to client, you can edit this any way you want it also for the description. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead, click on edit, and shared as, uh, I'm just going to call it 
um, OVN Lab CRM to just put the name of the company in front of it. And the description I put, this is shared CRM for annual, um, annual audits, for example. And then click on update. Now, if you want to get a copy of the invitation, you check this box. If not, uncheck it, click on next. Then you're going to be presented with confirmation uh, detail. You want to make sure everything is good. If you're happy with everything, then click on confirm and send. And as you can see, invitation successfully sent. Now, if I expand CRM again, this time we'll see that the invitation is sent. And if I want to invite somebody else or share it with another company, I can just click on invite new and go through these steps. Acceptance is pending right now for uh, the company that I'm sharing uh, with. Uh, now, I do have some options here. Copy invitation link. I can copy the invitation link and send it to them. I do have a send reminder option if I want to do that. And also, I can revoke this um, sharing app uh, if I decide to do that. You can see other uh, information here. For example, the company that I shared it with it shows on their app client name and then the email addresses that I used. So let's go ahead and go to the client's WPC. So we are on our auditor's WPC. As you can see, uh, let's check their email. So they have received the uh, email. It says you've been invited. And it says that they're receiving this email because OVN Lab wants to use Cloud Connexa App Hub to provide an external access to their CRM or application. Now, there are steps that they need to follow. Log into Cloud Connexa and navigate to App Hub and do this. So if they don't have an account, click on Log into Cloud Connexa. They can create an account for themselves and sign up with the service. If they do already have an account, they can just click on Login and log into the portal. As you can see, I'm logged in. So click on App Hub. And now you can see under the app client, I have an app waiting for my approval, which is OVN Lab CRM, and it came from OVN Lab. Now, if you look at the, uh, uh, on the right side, there are some details here, for example, the address or domain name, and also under shared by, those are the information that we entered when we created the profile. Again, pending approval, and if everything is okay, I want to accept it, I go ahead and click on accept and confirm that. So now it's moved to uh, under the app, approved apps. And on the right side, you can see it's active. Now, if I want to remove it, I can just click on uh, this box and uh, remove the app uh, from my uh, WPC. Let's go to users. Users, I uh, click on it, you see I have uh, three users uh, already set up. Emma is one of our users, part of, part of sales uh, team. Uh, let's go ahead and connect with Emma's account to WPC. Emma is going to use the app client to connect to WPC. Here we go. Um, we are connected. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to try to access the uh, CRM app that's being shared with uh, Emma and her company. So I'm just going to type the address here and hit enter. And here we go. So Emma has access to CRM as it was expected because it was shared. I'm going to disconnect here. Now, one last thing I want to show you here before we end the video, it's going to be the access groups and access policies. So if you expand access and go to groups, you're going to see that uh, uh, you can create uh, access policies um, like any other app that you have on your WPC. But now when you have a shared application, you have another section under destination available to you that it says applications shared with you. Again, like any other group policy or access policy that you set up in their WPC, you can choose the user groups, you can choose the applications that are being shared and create that access policy. For example, accounting here I selected and uh, the OVN Lab CRM. So only accounting people can access to OVN Lab CRM. So again, uh, like any other apps within your WPC, you can uh, create an access controls to that app that's being shared. You just have an extra section under destination. So this is how you share an app with uh, vendors, other business partners, or uh, different departments. Uh, thank you very much.